Hello everybody, welcome back once again to the Final Fantasy VII walkthrough. Uh, in the last video there, I had uh, actually gone over to the, uh, I don't know, the, the swamp, I guess. Um, and then I actually just cut out, I cut out all the footage of me learning uh, all the enemy skills over there. I think I picked up um, uh, level 4 suicide, uh, beta, and chocobuckle on the uh, second enemy skill material that we've got there. So. Uh, I believe at this point, uh, my uh, both of my enemy skill materials have all of uh, the currently obtainable enemy skills. So, uh, like I said, I, I cut all that stuff out though. I didn't really feel like it was uh, worthwhile to throw that in in another video. Again, you know, mostly because we've already already been through all that, so not much sense in uh, going over it all again. Uh, but anyways, all right, so we're we're back here in Junon. Obviously, I drove the and you need to if you've taken the buggy uh, To this point you need to drive the buggy directly into Junon uh, And again for the exact same reason uh, that way uh, when you appear or pop out back at uh, Costa del Sol you will have the buggy again uh, I think the the first Probably a couple of times that I played the game. I didn't even know that you could do that I didn't know that you could drive the buggy right into Costa del Sol or Junon uh, You know in order to Essentially take it with you So good Good to know good info to know I should say But uh, all right, so anyways our goal now is I believe to get to uh, is it Gangaga Ga or something like that? Some some goofy name. So we're going to make our way over there. Uh, it's an interesting place in the game. Actually, I'm not a hundred percent sure whether or not it's required, but um, we do have a battle or two to deal with there. I, I, yeah, I almost wonder if it's optional. I don't know. I'm not a hundred percent sure though. Uh, however, there is uh, there's a couple of good items as far as uh, and, and, and a little bit of storyline as well. So I would I would definitely say uh, don't avoid it. I I can't recommend that. Uh, and I believe there is a summon that we will pick up there as well, which uh, should be oh boy, who was our last one? I think our last one was Rama in uh, the Chocobo Jockey area. So I think the next one should be Titan. That's going to be my guess. Uh, but we'll find out here in a little bit. I probably could have cut this stuff out too. I don't know how much use it is really to, to see me running around in Costa del Sol. Cruising around vacationing. No, I'm just kidding. We're here for business, okay? We got stuff to do. We got enemy skills to learn, mithril to obtain. <laughs> I should say mithril obtained. But, uh, all right, so back on the buggy and on our way. <clears throat> all right. Gonna take a little bit of a shortcut, I guess, through the through the desert. Take down another harpy if you haven't already obtained the uh, aqua lung enemy skill. You can do that here. Clunk, clunk. All right, that's the end of that guy. Oh, Tifa always looks like I don't know if she's like tired, but she looks like she's stretching out. It's like it's like the kind of motion you would do when you're getting out of bed. I don't know. Maybe, maybe, uh, maybe she's like, ah, I'm just getting started. I don't know. That'd be kind of cool. Kind of badass. All right. So here's a grand horn. Now, uh, this enemy here is, uh, is actually a lot like the enemy that you'll fight in, uh, Fort Condor if you let the enemies get all the way to the shed. Uh, I say at least it's similar. He's got the same sprite, but it's not, uh, the same enemy unfortunately 
Uh, it would be it would be extremely easy to get Vagarisk claws if that was the case. Uh, however, obviously it is not. Um, but here I'm going to make a stop over at the the blacksmith's house. I think yeah. Let's let's have a look see. Now again, um, unfortunately the the blacksmith, as you can see here, or you'll be able to see, uh, he's not actually home. And uh, unfortunately, we've got a ways to go yet before he will be. Uh, and when I say unfortunately, it's because, again, you can get the uh, Great Gospel Limit Break for Eris. That's her, her level 4 Limit Break here. And uh, that Limit Break is so good. We'll come back later. Okay. So there you have it. He is not home. Uh, if the Blacksmith is home, your characters can actually walk inside and see him there and obviously interact with him. But uh, for the time being, uh, he is he is not around. But, uh, all right, so let's make our way over here to uh, Gon Gon Gaga or whatever this place is called. Uh, these enemies here are extremely flippin' annoying, uh, especially if you ever fight them in the battle square. They've got this ability called Stone Stare, <clears throat> uh, and I'm actually not sure I, what I should have done here is actually test it out. Uh, the enemy skill white wind and see if uh, uh, See if you're actually able to remove that, but uh, if your timer uh, Runs out you will be turned to stone and uh, obviously that is Pretty annoying. I'm not sure if they're able to Let's see if he can cast stone on his buddy here <laughs> I think it landed. Yeah, it did. Huh? So it's kind of funny. But uh, anyway, so like I said, if uh, if your timer runs out, you'll be petrified. Now, if you've got softs, you can just uh, and cure it. But um, unfortunately, uh, you'll you'll run into these guys a lot in the battle arena, or battle square, or whatever you want to call it in uh, uh, in the gold saucer. And uh, the problem with running into them there is uh, you know you've only got one character, and so you don't have the option of using the softs on. Uh, on each other, so that's uh, that's a uh, that's a bit of an issue. Again, though, I'm not sure if White Wind will remove the counter. I'm not sure. I've never tried it. Food for thought, though. That would be, I guess, a way to counteract that. But uh, all right. So, anyways, here we are. This is uh, Gan Gaga, I think, is the name of this place. Where am I going? Oh, okay, that's right. I wanted to get into a, a random encounter here. We've got uh, some little froggy guys that we want to learn frog song from. And I believe that is going to happen here in this next battle. Oh my gosh, so many. What a horrible fight, too. Okay, so there's... These guys are so freaking anno annoying because uh, every time they attack you, they'll turn you into a frog. So when they use that little frog jab ability, it turns you into a frog. If it wasn't already obvious. <clears throat> Uh, which, obviously, being a being a frog will actually make it so that you can't cast magic, you can't summon, you can't use uh, commands, you can ever or you can only attack and use the item command. Um, but the, again, though, the problem with uh, you know, that's cool that you can use items and everything. And normally, you know, if you were to turn into a frog, you could use a a maiden's kiss to get rid of it. But uh, unfortunately, here with these guys. Uh, you know, having the ability to uh, constantly turn you into a frog. Nor w what normally happens is you use the Maiden's Kiss, and then they just attack you again and turn you back into a frog. So, um, unless you've got some sort of uh, uh, way to combat the frog status, well, you could be in trouble. But uh, anyways, all right, the, the goal here for me was to <laughs> uh, learn Frog Song on my two enemy skill materials. And there we have it. So... Uh, both Cloud as well as Eris now have that learned. Uh, now, so what does is, what is Frog Song do? Obviously, it turns the enemies into frogs as well as puts them to sleep. Um, I'll be honest, I don't know uh, how many times I've actually used it. I feel like it would be useful if it lands, but um, I, I don't know. Again, I guess it's just one of those enemy skills that I just don't really bother with. And man, this, this battle ended up taking so long because they kept turning me either into frogs or putting me to sleep. 
Here Tifa has still got that one controlled, which I think is funny. What I should have done now is let's see if he, let's see if I can turn or put his other buddies to sleep. That'd be useful. Let's see if it actually works. Nope. Okay, I used frog jab apparently instead. Whoops. Oh well. I guess one good thing is by keeping. Oh well. I had that one manipulated almost the entire time. No! No! <laughs> oh, these things are just the worst. I don't remember if you can actually get uh, an accessory that would prevent Frog at this point. I feel like you should be able to. I assume it's the white cape. Um, I could be wrong on that, but um, I don't remember where those are purchasable, or if they are yet. I don't know. But, um, yeah, if you're planning on doing any fighting around here, I would definitely invest in one of those, because, man, that frog status is the absolute worst. Okay, maybe not the worst, but it's pretty bad. It's pretty bad. There we have it, though. We've learned it. We're done. We're on our way. Let's get out of here. Frogs disgust me. <laughs> if I ever hear the frog song again. Oh, frog song. Chrono Trigger. Oh. Hmm. Man, now I, I can't really say what I was about to say. I was going to say frog song is the worst, but let's be honest. If we're talking about the Chrono Trigger one here, ugh, that song is so good. Ah, oh, fantastic game, by the way. If you like old school RPGs, highly recommend. Highly recommend. But uh, all right, so here we are, finally making our way, and um, I think we're gonna run into the Turks uh, yet again here, which this scene is absolutely hilarious. Hey, rude, who do you like? What are you getting so embarrassed about? Come on, who do you like? Tifa. <laughs> oh God, poor Elena. She, you, no, she likes Sang. I knew that, but Sang likes that ancient. Wow, talk about love triangles. Holy crap. What are they talking about? It's so stupid. They always talk about who they like or don't like, but Sang is different. Ah, uh, oh no. <laughs> they're here, they're really here. Go easy on them, even if they're girls. Cloud's not a girl. I don't. Well, I guess he did do a little cross dressing back in the uh, back in Midgar, so it's maybe uh, maybe an arc. <laughs> Good stuff. Good stuff. All right. Anyways, here they are. Uh, Reno and Rude. I guess I could see uh, Rude liking Tifa. They've got a similar fighting stance, and I don't know. I guess of the two, I would sure. I, I guess I feel like you know Rude is more like your brawler, whereas Reno there with the uh, what does he have there? The beat stick or the I don't know. What do you, what do you call that? The po it's it's almost like a police baton. Although maybe a little fancier, I think he's got I don't know, some kind of electricity business going on there. It's maybe like a combination of like a, a teaser, uh, sorry, a taser and a baton. A teaser. <laughs> oh, bad stuff. All right, we're just gonna use uh, beta a couple of times and I think. Oh, apparently Rude must have a little bit more HP. This should do it. I like how he checks his watch before he runs. I love it. Let's be honest. Come on, they're pretty cool. <clears throat> oh, those Turks. Fairy tail and an X potion. All right, so a uh, new weapon for Eris. Something seems wrong. Like they knew we were coming. Followed us, but there weren't any signs of it. That means there is a Shinra spy. Don't even want to think that there's a spy. 
I trust everyone. Okay, well. All right, let's equip this fairy tale now. The fairy tale, if you if you notice there, it's got uh, seven materia slots. I actually really like this weapon uh, for that exact reason. Oh, I like to uh, you know try to try to uh, raise up as much materia as I can, and so that is exactly what we will do. Uh, let's move over here to the. Whatever direction this is, <laughs> wherever, who cares? No, <laughs> so so bad. Uh, these enemies here. Uh, what is this guy called? I forget the name of this. Heavy tank? Yeah, heavy tank. This looks pretty cool, like a stegosaurus crossed with a tank. I don't know who thought of this, but amazing. <laughs> uh, anyways, these guys are pretty cool. They uh, they actually will turn into power sources if you use the morph ability on them. Uh, which again, unfortunately, we don't have yet. We won't have for uh, quite some time. But keep in mind that this is here. I'm actually going to do a a guide on uh, on morphing, um, obviously. So that'll that'll be I don't know, quite a few videos from now. Um, what I actually was thinking about doing here was uh, going back and grabbing the death blow material, but uh, I kind of put the kibosh on that idea. We'll we'll grab it here after this uh, this little area. I was super indecisive on which direction I wanted to go. But, uh, all right, so anyway, yeah, like I said, so um, these guys you can you know turn them into power sources. Uh, power sources will uh, increase your physical damage, uh, which is obviously quite useful. Um, you know, all of your stats have a, a maximum of 255, and um, you know it's kind of just a I don't know. I, 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 guess, I guess can't really call it a cheap way of increasing your stats, but uh, morphing is an incredibly uh, time-consuming process and takes a lot of preparation uh, in order to pull off. Uh, there's some there's some kind of cheesy ways to go about it later on, like much later on in the game, um, dealing with the the W item um, materia. Uh, unfortunately, though, again, that won't be available until. Ugh, who even knows? Probably 20 hours from now, at least. Maybe, maybe I'm overestimating. I don't know. I guess it's again. I'm pretty rusty uh, on this game, so who knows? Who knows when we'll actually get there? But uh, again, I, I actually really like this area too. So if you notice, uh, or the the reason why I feel like this is such a good place for morphing is, uh, you'll only fight in this area as well as the the one previous. Uh, you will literally only ever fight those heavy tanks and uh, that might not seem like uh, it's that that cool but when you think about it um, if you're competing with different monsters uh, for for spawns you know um, that it just it severely cuts down your efficiency uh, if you're trying to farm these uh, so this again this this place this screen specifically here uh, this area and then the one before it is like the best uh, spots in the game to uh, to obtain those uh, these are the or the heavy tank is not the only enemy that can uh, be morphed into power sources, but uh, the other the other enemies are uh, you know yeah basically they fight for uh, spawns with with other enemies. So I don't feel like uh, well I just feel like this is the best spot period. So uh, anyways, all right. So this is a uh, destroyed reactor. It sounds like and. Um, I think that they were looking for materia here. That's my that was my impression anyway, because I, I, I really wasn't actually paying attention to that uh, uh, conversation. But here, if you notice, uh, there's a there's a piece of materia in the back. It says it's shiny. Uh, obviously, we're going to reach for it and obtain the Titan materia, and I will actually equip that. Um, I actually took off the enemy skill materia because for the time being, I don't really uh, need that. And, um, you know, I, I've mentioned it before, the enemy's skill materia doesn't actually ever gain AP, uh, nor will it ever reproduce. Um, so, you know, getting, um, unlike the rest of the materia in the game, uh, or most of it anyway, um, the materia, once it maxes out it, it actually, uh, or once you master a piece of materia, it actually reproduces and you get a copy of that materia. Uh, that's actually extremely important. 
um, <clears throat> for uh, uh, many reasons. I'll, I'll probably do a little guide on that too. I, uh, to be honest, though, it's uh, at this point, uh, you know, you just really want to keep materia uh, equipped and uh, keep obtaining that AP, and uh, obviously, along with uh, eventually it being able to reproduce itself. But uh, once you uh, you know, obviously using Materia more will get you higher tiered spells, uh, you know, Fire, Fire 2, Fire 3, so on and so forth. But uh, again, I'll, I'll do a little guide uh, on uh, Materia reproduction and um, probably just different spots that I actually like to specifically go to in order to level up my Materia. So, uh, so stay tuned for that. Uh, I, to be honest, I don't go out of my way uh, for quite some time to really... Uh, do much leveling up again. Uh, obviously, back in the uh, the forest that I got Yuffie in, I spent quite a bit of time there learning basically everyone's limit breaks, uh, at least the, the people that I had in the party at the time. Uh, I didn't have Ketchi quite yet, or I should say, I didn't have Ketchi at the time. But uh, to be honest, uh, I don't like that character one bit, so he will not be getting much playtime in my party. So I was a-okay with that. I'll be honest, there's, there's most of the characters in this, uh, in the lineup I don't uh, really use that much, but uh, not to say that they're not good, but I just prefer uh, a couple of them. Uh, but anyway, so we just obtained the death blow materia. Uh, the death blow, uh, basically if it does connect, it's like a it's like it will always do a critical hit, um, but uh, unfortunately, you've got an accuracy reduction with it, uh, or when you use it. I think it's something like it'll only uh, connect two-thirds of the time. So uh, I should say, um, you know, your, your character has a base hit percentage to begin with, and then it takes two-thirds of that, uh, 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 or sorry, a third of that away. So, um, you know, if, you're, if your character hits, we'll just say 100% of the time, uh, if you have the death blow material equipped and you actually use death blow uh, keep in mind if you use the command itself um, You'll actually only connect well, in in this case 66% of the time uh, but anyways uh, All right, so we're, we're here at uh, again. I think this is technically gun gun gaga I, I don't know if I'm saying that right probably not, but uh, this is the actual town I like that he's like, oh, hey, a ruined reactor. Yeah, dude, we've already been there. Um, I, I don't know what kind of drugs you, you've been on, but... <laughs> I'm maybe being a little bit harsh, but... All right, headband, silver glasses, star pendant, talisman, white cape. Um, there it is, frog small. So I was right. The, the white cape, if you uh, are going to be fighting the little froggies... Uh, the white cape is, oh, that's a good idea to have those. Um, if you notice here, there's some new materia. I think it was a time, time materia, as well as, was that Mystify? Or did I, I accidentally bought two of those again, as per usual. Um, and then if you noticed, I picked up three Fury Rings. I really, really, really like those accessories for leveling purposes, as well as, uh, you know, like materia or if I'm, if I'm trying to raise up my materia. Um, all right, anyways, we've got a, a weapons weapon shop here. So let's take a look at what this guy's got. What am I doing? Oh, yeah, I think I was kind of running low on money here, which is funny. I mean, kind of funny. I guess it wasn't really funny to me at the time. I was annoyed, but hey, I did give the guys that... Um, uh, Fort Condor, a ton of extra cash, and that was a total waste. <clears throat> but, uh, alright, so did I end up... No, the, all these weapons are garbage. or These are weapons that we should all have already, so... I guess we're going to listen to his uh, story. <laughs> wow, that's some story, buddy. Um, <clears throat> boy, what was I talking about there? I know there was, there was some tangent I was about to go off on uh, when I... Started to, oh, yeah, the Fury Rings. Okay. So, um, the Fury Rings, if you notice there, puts your characters into the Berserk status, which seems like a bad thing, except it's awesome <laughs> for certain battles. Um, if, you're, if you're going up, uh, uh, up against enemies that are, like, really easy to beat, 
you know, or you're not going to, to worry about, you know, being confused or something like that. Berserk is the way to go. And so uh, a lot of times what I'll do is uh, I'll find a specific area, and again, I'll do a video on it, uh, but um, it, it won't be for quite quite some time yet. But what I'll do is I'll, I'll typically go to an area where I'm not really concerned about uh, the, maybe the damage that the enemy, you know, uh, does. Or, uh, you know, basically something that I would just normally use the attack command when I went into uh, the, the battle. And, um, <clears throat> again, the, the, the Fury Ring is actually perfect for that because your, your characters essentially just battle automatically. And you don't even need to uh, input attack commands. So, uh, again, that's uh, kind of why I buy those uh, three Fury Rings here. You don't necessarily need to buy them now if you're strapped for cash. Don't worry about it. Uh, you can come back later once you've got some more money. And, uh, and grab some then. But uh, here is an interesting family. Uh, this is important storyline-wise. Um, these two uh, had a son named Zack. He was in Soldier. Uh, and as they explain here in a little bit, he was also a first class, which is... Um, uh, and here he actually... They say that he uh, had a girlfriend. And... Um, my impression is it is Zack, the same, uh, or the same Zack that Eris knew. Um, <clears throat> anyways, so uh, he was he was a soldier first class. They do find it odd though, uh, because I think Cloud mentions that he doesn't know him or he doesn't recognize the name, and uh, Zack, um, or sorry, it. it, it it's interesting that Cloud doesn't remember him because he was in first class and there wasn't a whole lot of people uh, that made first class. So it was, it sounds like it was a pretty small club. There you have it. There's the wine right there. So uh, anyway, interesting. Um, I guess I'd say that's kind of one of those things that you might want to keep in the back of your mind. Uh, so we left five years ago. <laughs> He's a real ladies man. Huh? Hey, what's wrong, poor guy? All right, let's go, Cloud. All right, so let's talk to Tifa here. Zach, do you? No, no, I don't know him. Uh, okay. Your face tells me differently. Told you I don't. <laughs> okay, Tifa. Sounds just like you leaving town saying I'm joining Soldier. There's a lot of guys like that back then. It was really a thing. So let me a group like that. I respect you. Um, I don't know if it really matters what you say there. but uh, So anyways, it looks like Tifa might know Zack. That's not the case, though. It's uh, She's more annoyed that uh, Zack essentially kind of said the same things that Cloud did when Cloud left the town. Uh, or when Cloud left, kind of kind of left Tifa behind almost. You know, and, and went to join soldiers. So she's more annoyed, I think, that, uh, you know, there was another person out, out there like that. And she was like, oh, that sounds just like you. <laughs> but uh, anyways, all right, so we grabbed the white m megaphone. And what's this X, X potion here? I think that's it for treasures in the town. Um, but uh, yeah, and anyways, I'm pretty much out of time here. So uh, what, what I'll actually end up doing is running outside. Uh, we've essentially accomplished everything we needed to. So we'll run out to the, uh, the world map and save. Uh, but anyway, as always, uh, I'm, I'm at the end of the uh, commentary here. So uh, like, comment, subscribe, whatever you guys want to do. Hope you guys uh, enjoyed the video, though, and hope you join me for more. Thanks for watching.